Hey guys, it's me, Mojin, and welcome back to the channel. Um, I know I've been away for a little while, I've been away for about a week. I'm just trying to get over a few things, mentally. Um, but I thought I'll get back into making some more content for you guys. Um, Cat Girl released a new chapter, so might as well read it. I'm looking forward to reading it. Um, I I was I was thinking about reading um, some of the previous things that she's put up, like um, the bloopers and the little uh, what's it what what's the word for it? Um, the thing for Technoblade, obviously he passed away. Um, obviously te she used Technoblade in her story, so yeah. So, as she has said, she'd like to take a moment of silence for pass away friend Technoblade. And um, I would also like to take a moment of silence for people we've lost recently. So, just five seconds silence, or ten seconds. Let's go, let's take ten seconds. Starting now. Okay. I know it wasn't much long. Much long? It wasn't a long amount of time. But just a moment of silence in order to recognise those that we've lost recently. So, anyways, I'm sorry, like, I'm half of the fucking screen. Um, I think we should just get started, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna, I might just start crying. <laughs> okay. Um, hope you're all having a good day. And I'm looking forward to reading this. So, again, thank you, Cat Girl. Also, uh... We, w we will all miss him. We'll miss everyone. Um, trigger warnings, blood, verbal abuse, yelling. Uh, not really a trigger warning. Um, feminine period. I'm guessing she means menstruation. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Okay. Right. Awake in a cold sweat. I was dreaming. I can't think of that now. Why am I looking over there? I can look right here. It's right on my screen. <laughs> so, um... Okay. I was dreaming. I can't think of that now. Everyone up. I say standing up. Five more minutes. Techno says sleepy. I kiss it, kick his side. Up. Now. Techno groans. Out of annoyance, but gets up anyway. We are all... Mu How much longer? Tommy whines, cutting me off. Like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted, Tommy. It will take barely any time at all to get to the next level. How do you know for sure? Phil asks. Just like everyone else, I chuckle. I doubt Uncle Cosmic wouldn't put in all of his all of this work to make this for me. F for it not to work, Mark. I cut myself off. Who's Mark? Who's this Uncle Cosmic? Wilbur says. I stand frozen for a bit. Right. Let's go move on. I start walking. Something grabs my shoulder and pulls me backwards. Techno grabs me and staring into my soul. At least what it feels like. What is happening? What is happening? Daring rolls his eyes after Frost asked. Mark got a panic attack after coming here from the back rooms or something like that. Frost looks over to Daring. Can you drop it? Daring lifts an eyebrow. What? Drop it? Drop what? Your attitude. What about it? Daring doesn't sound confused by this. He was angry. Y do you even care about this? About the people? Or is it all just money to you? Frost's face has turned red. And Daring is starting to. Of course I care. You're here working all day, every day. What about Mojing or RJ? Or even San? Frost, Daring says quietly. We are learning to save lives. Frost, Daring says again just a bit louder. And Mo, our daughter, what about her? She's a spoiled brat and nobody 
and a nobody. That's about her. Daring breaks. It was quiet. My eyes are filled with tears. Oh my god, what's happening with my mouse? I've done so much for this place, for him. I say something just under my breath. I'm sorry with the way my mouse is being. I keep on smacking it, so I think it's a bit broken. Um, I say something just under my breath. What did you say? Daring looks at me. I said you're selfish. I snap. Everyone stands shock, stands back in shock. I've never yelled out of anger. Tears run down my face, my cheeks turning pink. No one makes any moves to do or say anything, just standing there. They were silent. No. I snap back to reality. Bro! My mouse, I'm just going to do this. You zoned out again. Saying things like when you first got to my house when we were talking earlier. I feel a single tear rolling down my face. I try to shift myself out of Techno's grip. I see Phil holding a paper, a familiar paper. I force Techno to let go and walk over to Phil. What do you have? I question. He looks up from the paper. What does this mean? Give me the paper. What does this mean, Mo? My lips from a straight line and my eyes from a glare. Give me the paper, Phil. I say each word slowly with a pause between them. He looks into my eyes like he's trying to read them. He'll find nothing in mine but dark loneliness and hidden behind that is a messed up kid that's older than him. He hands the paper. I grab it fast and stuff it into my pocket. I turn around. Bro, what has happened to the FPS for my fucking camera as well? What just happened? <laughs> he hands the paper. I grab it fast and stuff it into my pocket. I turn around. How did you get it? I say without looking at him. I saw that your therapist dropped it on the counter. When running after you, I picked it up, but didn't remember it till now, he replied. Never touch my things. They don't belong to you, especially letters, I say. How would you put it? Darkly and angry, I would put it? Okay. We are going now. To be honest, I've known her all our life. But this, this is way worse than any foster home. Worse than the system itself. Worse than the dirty, mouldy rooms we were staying in the orphanage. And that's really hard to beat. I met Mo when both and... I met Mo when both and first... When we both... Ah, I can't read this sentence for some reason. I met Mo when we both first got there at the orphanage? Possibly? I don't know. Two three-year-olds that just lost both parents. She lost hers from court, lost mine from a fire. We didn't let go of each other for years. We got put into one file. In a way, can't have one without the other. We were a duo. A disc and a jukebox, a pizza and a soda. A crafting table and a furnace. Batman and Robin, Dipper and Maple, Spider-Man and MJ. Woody and Buzz Lightyear, Marty the McFly and Doc Brown. I'm just trying not to feel betrayed now. Trying to think of something else, but just can't. I'm mad at her. But I've never been this mad before. But it doesn't... It doesn't make sense, Wilbur. I just, I whispered to Will. How have I been with her all our life, and she's been here a lot? We were glued together, especially after we became teens. Will sighs. He turns his head towards me with a small grin. It'll be alright, Tommy. And I know it doesn't make sense, but we'll figure it out. We continue to we continue walking in silence. I would see Mo looking over her shoulder many times. A few times like she wanted to say something. I want no, actually I actually don't want her to. She thinks she's better than us. I'm not going to let her speak to me. Unless she is saying sorry and telling everything. We're here, we will stop. There is a door. We're lucky. She pulls us forward. She I can't speak. She pulls us towards the door. We fall. I open my eyes to see maybe a warehouse? Wait. A warehouse? We got out of the nightmare. Mo looks like to be knocked out. But everyone else is up. Will and Techno pull her to the walls. Phil checks her injuries. No bleeding. She probably just hit her head. Phil puts her hand on her cheek. My vision flashes to Mo in the same position, but someone else is where Phil was. He has bright pink hair and a pink shirt with a lab, a lab coat with the sleeves rolled up over his pink shirt, magenta jeans and white shoes. 
he turns to his he turns to face me and words flash in front of my eyes in many different colours saying daring Jake and dad Jake is not daring surely yeah his face was blurred out of his face was blurred his face was blurred out oh, fuck's sake <laughs> But I was replaced with the monsters. I trip and fall backwards. Then I see the monster from before. I tr I try to move out of its reach, kicking and trying to punch it as it got closer. It holds me down, and I can't move. Its white mask with the creepy smiling face right next to me. I was about to scream, but it disappeared, and I was left laying on the floor with Phil and Techno holding me down, and we were talking like he was trying to stop. I stopped talking trying to kick and punch the monster that wasn't there. I take a deep breath. Tommy? Yeah? Everyone else that was awake relaxes. I try to open my eyes as my head is pounding. Oh! I try to open my eyes as my head is pounding. I feel like I got hit by a truck. 15 trucks. Most definitely 15. I have bright lights hit my face making me close my eyes for the from the little amount I had them open. Where am I? I groan from the pain in my head. I see I see Phil hovering over me like I was dying. Wait, am I dying? No, no, no I'm not. The feeling would have kicked in by now. Mo, you awake now? You've been out a while. For, you've been out for a while now. Phil speaks softly like the way my dad did when I wasn't feeling good. I realised I was in Phil's lap like a, like a little kid that was scared from the storm. I pull my... Knees up to my face for a comf for a more comfortable position. You just sit there and it feels like... Lightning strikes outside, causing me to jump where I was sitting. Laughter comes from right next to me. I force my face into the older man's chest. I was full at the time and... Achoo. A sneeze. I'm not going to sneeze. I'm not going to... I'm just going to say achoo. <laughs> I sneeze facing away from the older man. He grabs a tissue. Here you go, Momo. I was sick. Th 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 stop talking your throat is still bad and hurting you have some water he hands me what used to be his glass of water I nod and drink I swallow but it hurts really bad causing me to tear up shh 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 sh it's okay he puts me in his lap putting the blanket on us everything was hurting physically but this I never imagined what would hurt the worst I now 16 is sitting in court in a courtroom as my family is fighting for me. Uncle Cos, Uncle Mel, both dads that are on different sides. Even Sam wants to take me in. So while everyth everything court-wise is going down, guess who I'm living with? None of them. I'm actually staying with an old friend. They will learn more about later. Grian. When, we heard about the fighting go when he heard about the fighting going on in the house, he came right over. Helped me pack my bags and then, and then we left. That was one of the only times I've seen him mad. It was beyond rage. Well, you're about to see it. So, want to play Minecraft? RJ asks. They all just randomly pop up at wherever we are and hang. It's kind of funny. Green lights up. I think that's a great idea, RJ. Oh no, RJ. I say with enthusiasm. He's going to show off his awesome builds in game. I finish. He looks jokingly offended by that. I have, you know. I'm the best builder in Minecraft. RJ and I laugh as he fumbles with his words. The doorbell goes off. I'll be back, you two. Don't do what I wouldn't do. Green says, standing up and starts walking to check the door. You can't do anything, Sherlock. I yell to him. That's the point. Green yells back. RJ mocks Green from our spots. But everything starts to feel tense. Low voices at the door. We get up and make our way to the front door. Will you get off my property? Green spoke and spoke dark and deadly, a tone I didn't even know existed for him. Since he's so happy and upbeat, not until my child is with me. Daring voice, vo Daring's voice echoes from the door, matching Green's tone. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> Come on, Mo. Wake up. Techno says. I sit up realising how I'm not on Phil. Phil. 
Philip <laughs> on Phil's lap anymore. He was over by Will and Tommy and Sim by himself. I said next to Techno, what happened? When we fell here, you just, you must have hit your head because you, you're out cold. How long? About four hours? Jeez. I, ru I rubbed my head where I bumped it. Anything interesting ha happened while I was out? Tommy freaked out. Took. Tommy freaked out. It took both Phil and I to hold him down so he wouldn't hurt anyone. Really? What triggered the panic attack? We don't know. That's suspicious. I think we should... I stopped my sentence. Mo? No. Not now. Mo, what's wrong? Techno asks. I look up to Techno and then Phil. Phil, can you come over here, please? He walks over to me. What's wrong? I whisper into his. My face is red as he laughs. It's okay, mate. Techno asks Phil what has happened. Phil whispers into Techno's ear. Techno sighs in relief. His face is hot from embarrassment. We all realise what's happening and tries to hold his laughter while Tommy stands confused. I think we should get going. Phil holds back his laughter. We have now been walking for three hours now. We're about there, I say. Where, though? Techno asks. Somewhere I can get my tech. The boys are confused. So, Phil starts. So what? I ask without looking away from my robo arm hologram screen. Who's your tech guy or girl or whoever? Here, I stop in front of the wall. Don't mean to be the bearer of bad news. Is that a wall? Tommy says. No, this isn't. I punch a wall making a hole. I pull my hand out and it's bloody and cut in many places. Should have used my left robo arm. The boys stare in shock. I pull out other bits of wall revealing a safe. I mess with it, put in the code that I totally remember. <laughs> it opens. I feel both relief and discomfort, one step closer to... It's okay, Mo. You won't be mad, right? I say to myself. Pull out tracking devices and earpieces. Untie the rope, everyone. I turn to them. Isn't this supposed to keep us together for safety reasons? Tommy asks. Yes, but I got something a bit more comfortable. Phil gave Techno and Will a look. The three untie their parts. Tommy doesn't. Will quietly talks to Tom. Away I would. Away Dad would. Away Cos would. Away he would. The blur pops into my head. Who was or is he? He is only a few years older. He looks like me from my first... Never mind. Tommy unties the rope. I give them belts. They all look confused. They're tracking devices. Something we can find each other if someone gets separated from the rest of the group. I'll tell how to, I'll tell you how to turn them on in a second. After the belts are on, I give them earpieces and show them how to put them on. After things were on and connected, it was time. Nope, I have extra clothes to change into. I'll be around the corner. I'm going to change into not PJs. I grab the clothes and walk behind a wall. I'm just pushing back the inevitable. I need to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I have water. <sighs> Gonna change into not PJs. I grab the clothes and walk behind a wall. I'm just pushing back the inevitable. I'm just pushing back the inevitable. I need to do it in order to think about getting out of here. I change into jeans and a black tank top with a black and white plaid button up shirt and I left open. I slip on a pair of colourful shoes that have pink moustaches on them from an old friend of mine. Also took care of feminine stuff. I pull my hair into a pony stale. Stale. I can't speak English anymore. I pull my hair into a ponytail, then pulls out little hairs that hang around the sides of my face. I was as ready as... <laughs> I was as ready as I could be. I walked back, almost expecting to see someone dead, but they were just standing around and talking. Oh boy, one thing left to do, I tell them. I take some wires that are connected to other things in the safe box and attach to my robot arm. I, t I take a different thing out and set it on the floor a bit ahead of me. I press a button in the small thing. Then press buttons on Romo. Um, get it, Romo. No, I'm really stupid. Unless it's Robo arm. Because names Mo, Roma. Maybe. 
The little device turns on fully. It starts hovering up to my eye level. It takes the screen pop. It makes the screen pop up showing six squares that say loading. The first one turns on shows me the view which I immediately turn off. The next one says RJ after a bit. The cam turns on. But while RJ cams holds off, both Sam and Frost join. They are checking their cameras and muted as he comes on. Uncle Cosmic's. Uncle Cosmic. RJ speaks first. What's happening? I'm not sure, Sam says as Mark joins with his camera and mic on. Well, this is strange, Mark says, breaking the silence. I turn on my camera. It loads for a second. Everyone gasps. Uh, everyone gasps. Or their jaw drops as they see Mo. Where the hell are you? <laughs> Damn, this is getting spicy. This game, good cat girl. Actually, really enjoying it. Rather invested in it. Um. Well, as we're at the end of this chapter, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I don't think it's technically chapter four because the two chapter, well, the two things that you put in, is obviously the thing for techno saying why you're taking a little longer for this chapter to come out and um, some bloopers which I was considering recording if you want to see them uh, let me know in the comments down below excuse me but yeah I'm pretty sure this is technically chapter 3 but anyways I really enjoyed this um, hope you enjoyed as well, um, people who are watching. If you're new to the channel, uh, I'd appreciate if you subscribed. Um, I'd also appreciate if you like this video. It really helps in the algorithm. And yeah, um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>